Good morning. It's the Call Flow Radio Show, and you're on the air. Well, you can be if you give us a call at 434-394-0924. That's the number. It is your Thursday, the September the 19th. Mm. That's right. Uh, we're moving on in this month. Good morning, I'm Chris Wood, and with me is Noah Massage. Good, good morning, Noah. Good morning, Chris. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How's your week been so far? Great. Uh, uh, very well, very well. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I got a uh, quote to pull my wisdom teeth, um, and I have, um, two, I have two of them. And, uh, uh, no, you just have two? I have you usually two. have four. I know, I know. I guess I'm more highly evolved, <laughs> so that's what they call it. So, hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you got a kick out of that one. I did. I don't know whether I should be offended. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just no. kidding around. Um, thousand dollars for two, though. Are they your uppers or lowers? Uppers, both uppers. Ah, uh, that won't be that won't be a bad thing. Is the low the lower the one low, with the jawbone? Right? Yeah, the, the low, yeah, the lower one is when the one you get the dry sockets and yeah. all that stuff on. Yeah. yeah, I had that. I had that problem. They gave me two quotes: one for local anesthesia, which is when they just take a needle and numb you up, and mm-hmm. then and the, the guy's like. The guy's like, you won't feel anything, but you'll feel pressure. I was like, what mm-hmm. do you mean, doc? What do you, I call him doc. I call anybody I see, like, you know, uh-huh. like a medical doctor or a therapist. I, uh-huh. Doc, you got to help me, doc. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I was like, it was like, doc, what do you mean? And then he was like, well, it's kind of like this. And then he just took his, like, uh, palm and uh-huh. just started pressing ag- up against my shoulder and was like, this. it was like, this is what it's going to feel like. Just pressure like this. You feel this? I was like, I was like, yeah. That's just gonna be in my mouth, okay? <laughs> um, but uh, well, I had when I had I had my yeah. I had all four of mine taken out. Oh boy! Oh, and uh, they 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 gave me a, a nice little sedative. Oh, nice! Yeah. That's fun. And and yeah, I I, I <laughs> you you remember that day? Yes. <laughs> yeah, my oral fun, surgeon was really really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, boy. I, I'm, I'm sure I said some oh, things God. that. If only you can go back woman in time. Shouldn't say. If I could, if, if I could be a, a fly on a wall in any instance, Chris, I yeah. would love to see what you said yeah. to that oh, young yeah. man. I, I, I don't really remember, but he, <laughs> no, he, bl- he blushed a few times. Oh I tell boy, you that, wow! Because I was wow. still awake. But anyway, oh, we do have a caller. Oh yes, we do. Yeah, yes, so yes. we better take that. We should probably do that. Yeah, I think it's probably Henry. Oh well, let's see. We might, might. Hello be. there, you on the air? Hey. Hey. Good morning, folks. Good morning, Henry. How are you? I'm fairly well. Good. I, I hope you all are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of well, I, well, I had a blood check done yesterday, and uh, while I was there, they brought a lady in with the Egyptian flu, and and I was talking to her, and uh, I don't know, I didn't really know what the Egyptian flu was. But it turned out she said she's going to be a mummy. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> That's a good line. Yeah, that that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty far fetched. I wouldn't wouldn't have touched that with a you know <laughs> ten foot pole. But anyway, That's there good. There you go. I know you probably heard about the two forks, table forks. Mm. They a uh, little boy fork and little girl fork, and they were spooning. And they decided to get married. And it was such a, a big occasion that ever since then, the little town they got married in, that little town is now known as Fork Union. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is, what can you say? <laughs> well, I can't. I'm speechless. No, I'm speechless. No. But anyway... Uh, a little serious note. On Sunday, a Sunday in 1977, Joyce and I were at her parents' uh, home there at Charlotte Courthouse. And I put a bushel of homegrown tomatoes in the trunk of our car. Well, when we got home, I went to lift the bushel of tomatoes out of the trunk and I pulled a muscle in my back. So that was on a Sunday afternoon. Monday morning, as usual, at 2 o'clock, I got up, splashed some cold water on my face, and when I did, I was, you know, leaning over at the Mm -hmm. uh, faucet at the sink, and when I 
leaned over, my back spasmed, mm. and a knot came up in my back, and it really hurt, and I could not straighten up, and I, I couldn't bend down any further. The pain was bad. Suddenly, I thought of what Jesus did when he said, I rebuke you, Satan. And the Bible says, and the child was healed. So with my left hand on that knot, my voice said, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you, Satan. Immediately, a line of heat went up my back. And when it passed that knot, the knot uncoiled and left in less than two or three seconds. And it's never been back in the 47 years since that time. Wow. Pretty amazing. So when, yeah. Well, you know, the way it is, it's it wasn't my voice. But when you're speaking the words of the Lord, uh, his spirit is in that voice. Mm-hmm. And that's what gets results. So it was his spirit in my voice that that uh, did away with that. And, and it's like I said, it's been four to seven years since then, and never happened again. So when he cast <clears throat> something out, it's out. That's right. Absolutely. So I thought I would maybe share that with some folks this morning. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, my we, number. We appreciate it. Go ahead. All right. My number is 414-0096. Okay. okay. Yes. Love, anybody would love to chat, give us a call. All right. Thank you so All much, right. Henry. Thank you. We appreciate God it. Love bless. you. Take care. All right. God All right. bless Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye. All right. That was uh, uh, Henry Evangelist Fulcher. Henry Fulcher. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. That was a good yeah, one. It was. Very good. Yeah. Chris, I got to say, um, you know, I, I was looking at this paper this morning, right? Mm-hmm. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a week ago, uh, there was a story about like uh, threats at a school, like made on social media? Mm-hmm. Do you remember that story? Yes, I do. Uh, turns out it was fake. Um, a hoax. A hoax. And not only was it a hoax, uh, like a screenshot of one of the like messages, I guess, or... Um, tweets mm-hmm. uh was like from years ago and wasn't i don't even think it was related to the prince edward schools mm-hmm. at all but somehow got circled around and you know yeah down. that's pretty crazy that's, it is crazy yeah it's crazy it's, it, you know, that just goes to show you you just have to be really really careful with anything with anything yeah that you do that's Take everything with like a, ta- a tablespoon of salt a tablespoon know? of salt Ooh. No, maybe a teaspoon of salt. No, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, yeah. you need a full tablespoon uh, for some of this stuff. I yeah. had to go to the store yesterday, yeah. and I, I bought some of the ingredients for that uh, chicken tortilla soup. You're going to try it out? I'm going to try it out this weekend, I think. You got the olive oil? I have the olive oil. You have the um, the garlic, onion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tortillas. And I, bought, I bought the um, fresh cilantro. Mm-hmm. And I still have the chili, uh, the green peppers, the chili peppers to get. And uh, just a couple of other, oh, the chicken. No, I think I had the chicken. I had the chicken in, in the freezer. So I'm uh, pretty much ready to go. Interesting. So you're you're a type of person who can like who enjoys cilantro. You're right. You're not one of the people who because like apparently there's like a gene. Um, didn't know this, but there was like a gene that like that's in some people that like when they taste cilantro, it tastes like soap to them. Like literally, like taste buds. Like I don't particularly care for it. Okay. Uh, on its own or anything mm-hmm. like that, but I I don't mind it. You okay. Know, in, a, in a recipe. So yeah. Um, yeah, it, I, I don't use it very often. You don't? Okay. No. no. Yeah. I, I know, I know like some people, like my father's that way. And I'm, I'm lucky that I didn't get that because I actually really enjoy cilantro mm-hmm. on anything. Yeah. Tuna fish, uh, salad, um, a nice, uh, soup, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. uh, well, we do have a caller. I guess we should get to that, but, um, well, we'll get to that and oh, then yeah. get back to the yeah. cilantro. cilantro talk. Yes. All right. All right. Good morning. Good. You're on the Call Good morning, Chris. How y'all Whoa. doing this morning? Fred, how are you? I'm wet. I'm wet. 
I know. How much rain did you get in your gate? Did you get a look I, at it? I have. I did look at it this morning. I have a little over three inches total so far. I've got three and two tenths. That's about what I have. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And it's been a soaker. It was a soaker. I'll tell you, the limbs are falling. Uh, these dead leaves, limbs. Leaves, it looked like the fall of the year. Leaves that blowed all across the yard. Yeah, they're starting to fall early. I guess. But you this, know, we need it. We need it rain. Mm -hmm. We didn't gotten dry. Yes, we we have. Uh, we were dry, and it was a nice soaking rain too. It wasn't a you know all. all it didn't do, I mean, it didn't do no whole lot. Of, I don't even believe the rivers even up any. Well, yeah, I mean the ground soaked it right up. That's for sure. It took it in. Yes. I just hope they got it up in the in the uh, old side of Stanton and up in around Harrisonburg. They said they're having a serious drought up there. Yeah, they've always been a uh, more, little more arid. You and know, up in, in West their, Virginia, their I think up there they said they got a severe drought going up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I hope it reached that far. I don't know. It's it's strange how it rains. Well, it came off the coast, so I'm not sure whether it reached that far or not. But, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. We got a good rain, I tell you. It's, good drink of water. keep the grass green a while longer, won't it? Yes, it will. Some of those people out there think that, you know, and with these warm temperatures coming up, too, it, the grass will uh, get a growing spurt, so they may have to uh, go out there and cut it one more time. <laughs> oh, yeah, at least maybe a couple times. Yeah, you're right. They, what the temperature does. Yeah, they got a lot of hay off of our property um, this past cutting. I mean, I think we had like 70 or 80 rolls. Yeah. rolls. Um, usually yeah, it's around, yeah. you know, 45 or, or 50 or so. But, um, yeah. yeah. So Y'all got right good. much open land? We have right much open land. Part of it we're ta you know, caretakers of. Not It's not part of on our, our property, so to speak. How many acres y'all have all together back in there? Uh, yeah. Our property, the farm is 229 Acres. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all got a nice size place. Mm -hmm. We have two ponds on it, and uh, Horse Pen Creek runs right s smack dab through the middle of it. It's it's beautiful. Y'all good ways off the road. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it, it's uh, yeah, we are pretty much off uh, ways off the road. Yeah, you can still hear the I traffic sometimes, nice. but yeah. That's nice and peaceful when you mm -hmm. back off like that. It is. It's very nice. Francis loved yeah. it. Yeah, that was his uh, place to write. So, and and, and uh, that's where he wrote all of his <clears throat> all of his stories. So, yeah, it's great. Uh, you probably got deer come all up in the yard. <clears throat> oh yeah. yeah, of course, Iggy. Yeah. Iggy, my dog. She uh, she is the queen of the of the farm. So, you know, she'll chase off the deer, but I. I keep telling her, telling her not to, and you know sometimes she'll do it. Sometimes she'll bark or go after him, and sometimes she won't. So it doesn't. You know, <laughs> yeah. it just probably got used to seeing them out there. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh definitely. And we <clears throat> do have Your turkeys. Your animals get by. adjusted. Look like they get adjusted. They get, they, mm -hmm. They're not as scared of you now. They'll turn around and look at you sometime before they run. That's right. They will do yeah, that. Getting, they come getting we even have a rabbit one time coming up around. Oh really? But, but the cats keep them down right, baby. They, they, they like catching young rabbits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And squirrels, oh, oh my goodness. We're flooded with squirrels. Yes, uh, I, <clears throat> I know. I, I, I wish that, uh, well, Iggy did catch one squirrel. It didn't have a tree to run up, so she caught it and um, played with it for a little while. And, you know, but the squirrels are starting to eat on my cabin, and I don't mm -hmm. like that, so. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they've got all these trees around them, but somehow or another, they like being. You would think it'd be a lot of acorns and stuff, you know, that they'd be getting instead of eating on the cabin. We've had a huge amount of acorns coming down. I mean, sometimes the like acorns and hickory nuts. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You would think. Look like they're getting to be a nuisance too. Old deer, old deer can be a nuisance too. I, I always start to get a lot of goat in them because you know they eat flower bushes and yeah. rose bushes. They love my hosta. They love my hosta. I can't keep hosta uh, in my garden because they they do eat it up. The really yeah, pretty yeah. big hosta. You know, I come in, I go, I go out, and I I'm looking at it and I'm enjoying it one evening, and the next morning they come in and shoot it down to the stalks. So. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I'll get off here and let somebody else uh, call, call in. And, uh, well, y'all how, have a good, good, all right, have a good weekend. H- how's oh, Carol? One more weekend this month, ain't it? I know. I know. How's Carol doing? Yeah. She's in uh, in the uh, rehab at Farmall over there. The uh, it's in the call it Farmall Health and Rehab, mm-hmm. and taking therapy, and she's improving somewhat. And she got the way she just couldn't walk. I mean, she, mm-hmm. she could stand up, and uh, she wouldn't move her right foot. But uh, they got to got to loosen her up a little bit now. She's moving some. Well, with that's a walker. good. That's good. All she right. bring your prayers and thoughts, and everybody out there. Well, we certainly will. All right, you take care. All right, Chris, good talking to y'all this Good morning. talking to you, too. We love you. Take Have a good All right. one. All right, bye-bye. Call again. All right, bye-bye. Mm. That's Fred. Fred, the one Fred and only. Fred Hines, yeah. the one and only. A rain uh, enthusiast. Yeah, he's a weather enthusiast. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's, anyway, it's that's great good. to talk with him. Yeah, yeah. Did want to mention just again, Chris, uh, mm-hmm. about the Farmville now. You know, oh yes. Sign ups uh, till October seventh, and mm-hmm. then we reveal the the winner of the little uh, contest or not even contest, but like thing we're running uh, where if you sign up before October seventh, you get a chance to win five hundred dollars. <throat> uh, very exciting, and the calendar will be released sometime in. Late, like mid to late fall, so we're thinking like late October, middle to late October, maybe a little bit longer, but uh, that's what we're that's what we're shooting for, I should say. So, and this includes everything. Every, I mean, like yeah, but schools, Full website. yep, schools, sports, sports. Uh, college sports, uh, from Hospital. like art events to um, yeah. you know, it, even uh, <clears throat> the state park events. Like oh, you know, yeah. there's like five mm-hmm. state parks. In and around the Farmville area includes all of their events that they're throwing, um, you know, like bike trail, or like riding bikes at night or, you know, stargazing. There's a lot of different fun activities mm-hmm. um, that are happening that, you know, uh, we're hoping that people will like, you know, be like, wow, did not know there was that much happening in Farmville. So it's not out yet. Will be soon. Um, but you still have a chance to win 500 big ones. I like saying that 500 big ones, you know. Mm. It's like a old salesman. I feel yeah, it's like a five hundred big ones. I should have like a cane and like a monocle. And, you know, just like yeah. You're talking about uh, last week. You said something about five hundred Ben Franklins. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. That's the new way it's of talking, way. Chris. Oh, okay. Some new slang. <laughs> you're like, gotcha. All right. gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> For those oh, of us who don't know what big ones are. Brent Franklin's all right. It's a, a, a one hundred dollar bill. bill. Correct. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. Okay, that's not. I, yeah. <clears throat> yep. So, um, and anyone can anyone 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 any age? can enter. Anyone can enter. Yep. Any age. Can I enter? You can enter. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris. I'm joking. You can't enter. I no, know, I, mean, I know. I well, I mean, like if, if yeah, I mean you can if you you know if you want. Oh, to. Oh, that's okay. I'll let somebody else. No, no, go, Give go, them go. an opportunity. Okay, okay. All right. And they go, can go to farmbillnow.com. Yep, that's right. All right. Farm, just make, make sure that you've got that and uh, make sure that you enter your name into mm-hmm. that uh, promotion. Name and doing. email. That's right. Name and email. Yeah. That's all you have to do. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> You're welcome. Okay, let's go to – we have time to get to our history lesson. Mm-hmm. Uh, since the lines are open, but, you know, if you do want to call in, we will certainly answer the phone as quickly as, mm-hmm. as possible. If you want to hear my John impression again, I mean, feel free to call in. Phone number 434-394-0924. <laughs> lines are open. Uh-huh. All right. I heard John give an impression of you yesterday. Yeah, it was pretty good. Well, all, I mean, look, it was cheap. I don't like this. <laughs> That's really funny. The phone is re- well. I guess we should pick it up, Chris. <clears throat> maybe right. You reckon it's our second time caller? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> Good morning. You're on the call flow show. Good morning. I'm I'm calling. I want to add a birthday to the birthday list. Absolutely. Right. And uh, what is the name? Dolores Austin. Dolores Austin. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I'm from Farmville. Thank you. And from Farmville. All right. Well, thank you and have a great day. Thanks for your call. Thank mm-hmm. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Dolores Austin. Mm-hmm. Of 
Farmville right. celebrating a big day today. That is for today, mm-hmm. the 19th, 19th of, September. of September. That was really convenient timing for that phone call to ring because it was literally right when I was like, John impression. <laughs> you know, I thought it was, I was getting ready. It was like warming up my uh, voice. Well, you know, it's being live radio. It's, yeah. you, anything you, could happen. Anything. That's right. So we had enough birthday to add to today. That's, That's right. great. We got it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, in 2015, English author Jackie Collins, and I've read some of her books, uh, whose glamorous public persona echoed the l- lavish lifestyles of the characters in her provocative romance thrillers, died at the age of 77. Mm. I always thought she was beautiful. Mm. Anyway, 2011, Panamanian baseball pitcher Mariano Rivera, Reggie. <clears throat> excuse me, registered his record-setting 602 or 602nd career save when he retired in 2013. Now, Rivera had an unprecedented 652 saves and was considered the sport's greatest relief pitcher. Wow. Okay, 1995, the Unabomber's Manifesto, a 35,000-word an- anti-technology document written by Ted uh, Kaczynski, who had launched a bombing campaign that killed three and wounded 23, was published in the New York Times and the Washington Post. Uh, The manifesto really helped uh, lead to his capture. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 1994, the medical drama ER, or emergency room, or Francis and I used to call it Mm -hmm. (laughs) Er. Debuted on NBC and became one of the highest-rated programs on television. It launched the careers of several actors, most notably George Clooney and Juliana Margulies. So, that was in 1994. 1991, <clears throat> the Ostel Alps on the Italian-Austrian border. German tourists discovered a mummified human body, later known as the Iceman, that was subsequently determined to date from 3300 B.C. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. 1970, the first episode of the sitcom The Mary Tyler Moore Show aired on American television. The groundbreaking series starred Mary Tyler Moore as a single independent working woman at a time when female characters were defined as the wife, girlfriend, or widow of a male counterpart. Mm -hmm. Mary Tyler Moore. Let's see here. 1955, President Juan Perón of uh, Argentina was overthrown and fled to Paraguay after an Army-Navy revolt led by democratically inspired officers. And uh, let's see what else went on here. Well, in 1863, the Battle of Chickamauga Creek, an important engagement of the American Civil War that was fought over control of the railroad center at nearby Chattanooga, Tennessee, began. So... There you go. That's your history lesson. And 1863? 18, 1863. Wow. The Civil War stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's get to our business at the bottom of the hour. We can do that. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We've got our weather forecast coming up. And uh, that is brought to everybody by us. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> here at uh, the station. So we'll get to that. And the weather forecast calls for a slight chance of some showers and some patchy fog this morning and turning partly sunny this afternoon with a high of 78 degrees. For uh, tonight, uh, we'll see a low of 60 degrees under partly cloudy skies and some patchy fog developing as well. Now, for Friday, lots of sunshine with a high of 82. Friday night, mostly clear with a low of 59. On Saturday, look for lots of sunshine with a high of 81 degrees. Saturday night, partly cloudy with a low of 61. On Sunday, mostly sunny, a high of 77. Sunday night, mostly cloudy with a low of 59. And for Monday, partly sunny with a high of 73 degrees. 
Um, outside, your humidity is at 96%. Our barometer is at 29.95 inches. And let's see, our winds coming in from the north-northeast at around 5 miles per hour with gusts of around 11 miles per hour. And we do have cloudy skies outside of our Francis E. Wood Studios. And um, we recorded 0.9 um, inches, 9 tenths of an inch of rain in, in the last uh, 24 hours. So that's interesting to know. 67 degrees and cloudy outside. That's your weather forecast. Excuse me. Uh, our birthdays and anniversaries are coming up. They're brought to you by Creative Electrical Contractors located at 1907 East 3rd Street in Farmville. Creative Electrical Contractors specializes in commercial and industrial projects and offers quality work at competitive prices. CEC is a licensed Class A contractor in Virginia and North Carolina. Creative Electrical Contractors has been in business for 25 years, still committed to the values that were established when the company opened in 1998. Integrity, quality workmanship, and timely delivery. CEC, located at 1907 East 3rd Street, Farmville. You can contact CEC at 434-392-3802 or at creative electrical electrical.com. All right. <clears throat> That's our cue. That's my cue to turn it over to Noah Massage for the birthdays or perhaps anniversaries. Noah? Perhaps. Hey, Chris. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. And we're going to go into the birthdays now for September 20th. Starting off with, uh, we have Layla Wade. We have Chena uh, Fry. We also have Merle Smith, Sheila Stanley, uh, Elvira Ford, and last but not least, we also have uh, well, we no, two more. Uh, sorry, Dolores Austin, of course, and um, Alyssa Goyne King. Wow. Alyssa Goyne King. Okay. Yeah. That's, right. Those that's... are the birthdays. All right. How can they get those names to us, Noah? Many ways. Too many to count. Um, well, you can you can email those, first of all, to birthdays at WFLO.net, mm-hmm. or feel free to call them in at 434-394-0924, and we'll be here to pick up the phone. Me and Chris both will answer mm-hmm. the phone. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we'll get those birthdays from you. Okay. And you can mail them in if... You know, if, if you want ahead of time. If you want to use a sure. stamp. Sure, yeah. You can uh, mail them to WFLO, Heartland Communications, at uh, 217 West 3rd Street, Suite 2, Farmville, Virginia, 23901. Mm-hmm. So we can get them that way as well. That's right. No smoke signals or anything like that. That's right. Oh. No. No. Or you can drop them off yeah. here yeah. Yeah, during business hours You can come as by. Well. You can yeah. mail them. You can... Yeah. Uh, email them. You can call them in. And I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. The birthday calendar was brought to you by Creative Electrical Contractors. If it's not right, they'll make it right. Call 434-392-2802. Our time is uh, 835. We do have a call coming in on the Call Flow Show. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Good morning, John. Oh, John? Oh, uh, yeah, let's hear it. Oh, you, <laughs> you want to hear it, Joe? This is awkward. John just walked in, too. Well, maybe John should come. Okay, he's coming in. I don't have to. All right. <laughs> hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Special moment here. I'm going to teach everyone how you can do the perfect Noah massage. All right. Okay. Wait, hold Take on. Take your corner finger All right. and your thumb. <laughs> Place it over your nostrils and hi, I'm Noah Massage. <laughs> Thanks for Everyone the lesson. can do it. Everyone Thanks can for the lesson, John. Anytime. Always hey, should. Is there, is there any pointers or tips we should know? No, about? you just speak normal. <laughs> you just speak normal? And then sound abnormal when, it's <laughs> when you close your nostrils. That's, that's interesting. That's a unique one. Um, wow. Thank you for that, John. And then my John impression, I mean, I feel like also everybody could do it, but um, it's a little unique, you know, just kind of take your finger mm-hmm. and just kind of... And then that's, that's yeah. yeah, that's it. If you want, you could kind of have a hunchback, too. You can kind of, you know, do one of these and kind of just like... 
uh, it's hard to explain what I'm doing over there, but just like uh, drop drop down like a foot, <laughs> and then you're John. <laughs> just, just just like lose a foot of your height, and then you're John. No, no, I'm getting, getting around. All jokes, all jokes. Come on. All right. That's it, caller. Uh, have any questions? <laughs> Can't hear you at all. <laughs> that was amazing that he walked in right when I said good morning, John. Uh, yeah, that was quite amazing. That was, uh, man, that was like destined to be almost. Absolutely. Yeah. How's your morning going? Pretty good. Good. Glad to hear that. Chris, do you do any, do you do any voice impressions? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I, I, I leave that to John and Noah to, well, you know, to to well, figure out, but well anyway. Chris, uh, to be fair, John did just give a very good lesson on how to do a no impression. You should try it. I am just, not going to, just, to do just that. Just try it. I'm Come not on, Chris, going to please, subject please, myself to that. Please, just once. Absolutely not. Come on, you got to let loose sometime. Hello, folks. How are you out there? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was great. Okay. Don't yeah. ask me again. For the first time. <laughs> okay. Oh dear! I'm oh, okay. You guys got me got me into it now, so that's now we're going to stop. We're stop. Also, I like I didn't even mention this. I like when John came in uh, to the studio. He threw, uh, you know, like when you get a <laughs> you know a when you six buy pack. yeah, well, like when you buy a six pack of like soda or like beer, it has that like little plastic kind of thing that's kind of holding them all together. I don't know what the name of this is, but um, he threw that at me. But he balled it up first. He, like, did this, it, like, the ball, and then kind of, like, floated in air for a minute because, again, it's plastic with a lot of holes, so it's mm-hmm. not going to come at me. I at never a... know what happens when I leave the studio, oh. folks. I make <laughs> them promise me they're going to behave themselves, but obviously yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, can you do a, a Ron Moody impression yet? Can I do a Ron Moody? Oh, well, hello, folks. Yeah. This is Ron Moody here with the Rockin' Soul. That's my. That's, it's not very good. Uh, Ron Moody here. W F O O. Yeah, that's pretty poor. Oh come on, Chris. <laughs> come on, come no. on, Chris. No, Give me a little credit. Nobody can impress. Nobody can do a really good impression of Ron Moody. John does a pretty good one. Well, he does. He comes close. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah, he does. So, um, how? Do you how, listen to him on? Do you listen to him on Saturdays? Of course I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've known Ron for years and years and years. He's a great guy. Really? You mm-hmm. know him? Oh, yeah. Yep. We're good friends. He came out to uh, the house to visit when Francis was ill. And um, he, you know, he's just he's just a great guy mm-hmm. all, all around. Okay. And uh, he loves music. He loves beach music. And, you know, he's... he's on the in the music hall of fame, Beach Music Hall of Fame, and uh, lots of lots of things. But uh, uh, he's very tall. Mm. He's about six foot six, oh, yeah. six. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I always feel protected, mm-hmm. <laughs> I should say, when you're around these tall guys. Of course, Francis was tall as well, but not as tall as Ron. But anyway, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, I've known him for a while too. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's good. Does he know your name? Yes, he does. Oh, good. All right. I heard no one was start calling me potato guy. Potato guy? Well, because, like, okay, so there's, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people know this, you know. Uh, there's a certain slang used for outdated um Technology, um, yeah, I'm speaking hardware like phones or VCRs, uh, they're generally referred to as potatoes. As a, I had no idea. I, I learned this from working around these instruments and these different pieces of hardware. Mm-hmm. You just kind of pick up the sling. People will refer to them as potatoes. So I, I kid around. I don't. I think you have a smartphone, sir. But like sometimes your phone kind of like goes in and out, and it sounds like. You're dialing from, like, I don't know, like, one of those old phones where you have, like, an antenna you have to pull out, you know? Like, one of those. Just, like, a ancient piece of hardware. So, hence the potato. It's a little far-fetched. I'll admit it. It's a little far-fetched, but... Well, what, what do you have to say to that? 
What do you have to say to that? I'm speechless. <laughs> 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 oh man! All right. Well, that's great. Uh, that's great. Yeah, it is great. All right. Well, we've got our um, impressions out of the way. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I know that you live in Hanover, correct? Yeah. 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 Well, you don't have to to tell us, you know, a whole Everything, whole lot of stuff. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, like just like things like your social security, um, <laughs> insurance status, well, maybe it's, your it's address. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Now, what are your interests? <laughs> you know, what are, I know you're you're interested in music, of course. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, what kind? Do you like all kinds of music? Pretty much. What's your favorite? I'm I'm not a rap fan though. Oh no, I'm not a rap fan either. I don't like rap. Yeah. Don't li- like a real heavy, heavy metal. Mm. You know, either. But um, like Iron Maiden, would that be too? No, but I do. Am, I am. I'm turning in. This is strange. Oh, I am. I do like a couple of ACDC songs. Interesting, but that's Chris. that's not real, real heavy, heavy metal. Well, it's, I mean, it's heavy. Well, it's considered heavy back then. It was. Yeah. Relatively speaking. Yeah, but you know. I, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait! I can't wait for the day that I come in and Chris is like listening to Black F- Flag, you know. Like, I don't know anything about oh, Black Flag. Seventies, but heavy. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't like the screaming. Okay, okay, all okay. That screaming okay. stuff. All right, right. Screaming guitars and all that stuff. Mario mm-hmm. Speedwagon. Pardon me, Ario Speedwagon. They're your favorite. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> No, no, they're not. But uh, that's another story in itself. So we'll not discuss that. But no, I'm not. I'm not a fan of Ario Speedwagon. That's for sure. Anyway. That's, that sounds like garble to me. You're going to have to talk up. I watched. I watched Ryan Seacrest post Wheel of Fortune for the first time last. You watched Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest Ryan for Seacrest? the first time. You oh. just started hosting. Oh, oh, yeah. well, how was yeah. that? Well, every I'm sorry, caller. Could you say that one more time? Every every contestant landed bankrupt. Oh, every contestant landed bankrupt. Wow. Oh my! All the way around, and they all landed bankrupt. Oh my goodness. That was uh, that wasn't very encouraging. No. <laughs> no. Well, did, eventually, did somebody win? Yes, eventually oh. somebody did win. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. So I guess I have to. I used to watch it all the time. Yeah. We were fortunate. I was pretty good at stuff like that. Yeah, I'm guessing letters yeah, and I stuff like, like that. Like the, then, then, like I, yeah. Then I watched Jeopardy and feel really dumb. <laughs> and some of those questions, anyway. So it all evened out, in other words. Well, the kids' Jeopardy is easy. The, the what now? The kids' version of Jeopardy. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. All right. They don't do that as much anymore. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, well all right. What was the uh, the? You said it was the the. What what uh, version of it was it? The one they did in the where they have the Jeopardy. I don't know. I can't. No. I don't have, know. They have young children on there. Oh, the children's. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I could probably answer some of those questions. <laughs> anyway, that'd be fun. Well, thanks so much for your call. We appreciate you, and have a great day. Has the oh, rain yeah. has the rain ended in Hanover? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. All right. Take care. Have a great day. All right. Mm, bye bye. That was. Um, are we calling? What are we calling that caller? Chris. The caller. I'm not going to call him Potato. Okay. I don't know. Potato. Potato man. No. No. 
Not going to do that. Okay, 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 Chris. Okay. Well, I do hope that he gets a new phone or gets better reception. Yeah. Get I hate a, to keep asking him to repeat stuff. Yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah. It's a little... The connection's not not real. It's good. not the greatest, mm-hmm. yeah. But I have a feeling like it probably is because of the phone he's using. Mm-hmm. Though mm-hmm. I don't know, he might be using like a BlackBerry, Chris. You know, like one of those uh, guys. No, listen. But I love I a, BlackBerry. a BlackBerry. I love it was a BlackBerry. One of the first, yeah, yeah, cell phones uh, that yeah. I had, and it was. Um, it was it was nice. I really liked it. Let me let me clear the record. I'm not dissing BlackBerry. I think their phones are actually better made in more functional than t- today phones where it's just a screen however i think uh with like 5g now and like all the, you know it's just the reception on those mm-hmm. phones mm-hmm. are not you know you it's not like where it. it was yeah, yeah. anyways i just yeah, you call the blackberry a potato yeah that's uh let's see a fruit and a vegetable so mm-hmm. anyway all right <laughs> <clears throat> good morning you're on the call flow show good morning chris well good morning betty how are you I'm hanging in. I'll be glad to see the sunshine come out. Absolutely. I do lots better when the sun's out. Really? Mm. Um, Noah, yes, I'm Betty. a little bit confused this morning. I was listening to your birthday list, and you read a list, and you said these are the birthdays for September the 20th. <gasps> Did I say the 20th? I'm sorry. I meant the 19th. Okay. Those are for well, the 19th, by the way, the ones I read. They were. Yeah. Well, yesterday I emailed, as usual, a birthday in for today, and I did not hear it listed. Oh. But I want to wish Patrick Ross of the Abilene area a very, very happy birthday today. Yes. He is one of the important folks up at Central Southside Community Hospital in environmental services and has been there for a long time. And I just want to say happy birthday, Patrick. Of course. Thank you, Betty. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hello, Patrick. Um, yeah. And he's from the Abilene area, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Out past Hamden, Sydney. Uh-huh. Yeah. In, yeah. So you know of him? Um, I think so, but I'm, I'm not so, you know, I'm not sure, but the name sounds very familiar. Well, his mother's name was Mamie, and she was in charge of um, dietary and cooking and that Mm -hmm. kind of thing out at the Woodland for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And you might have met her when Edna was there. Mm -hmm, Maybe so, yeah. Yeah, but anyway... um, don't know what happens to my email. I, I did I, see I did see your email, Betty, but I thought it said uh, October nineteenth. Um, but it might have been me. That might have been. I thought that was for uh, next month, like a next month's birthday. Oh, maybe I made a mistake. I don't know. I don't know. I might have, but also today is a birthday for Kathy Charleston of Farmville. Oh, really? Yeah. Very, yeah, I do know Kathy. Yeah. Yeah. Kathy yeah. and Jim. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So two birthdays to add on there. And right. I will go back and, and check my scent mail and, and see what I put in it. Because <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we do know that Kathy Charleston does her birthday is today. That's right. So happy birthday to I did say October 19th. Oh, goodness. I just looked at it, but it does say, please add to your birthday calendar for tomorrow, October 19th. But I had the wrong month. My apologies. No, no, Betty, Betty. So so Patrick's birthday is tomorrow, right? Or t- Patrick's is today, today, and Kathy's is today. Okay, all right, got him. But my my email was sent yesterday oh, I see saying what you're about. Yeah. for tomorrow mm-hmm. being today. Mm-hmm. I got you. Okay, glad we got that straight. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, not really. Anyway, uh, that's that's good, Betty. All right, I'm glad we got that straight, and um, hope that you have a wonderful day. And that hopefully we'll see some sunshine this afternoon. Absolutely. All right. Take care. Take care. care. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Got that straight, didn't we? Yes, we did, Chris. Yes, we, yes did. we did. All right. It is now 852, 
and uh, the Call Flow Radio Show, 434-394-0924 is the number to call. It is your Thursday, September the 19th. That's right. And we have eight minutes left. You can call in. Mm-hmm. You can That's talk right. to us. You can uh, get count like advice. You know, mm-hmm. Chris, Chris, and I uh, have uh, a wide variety of unique experiences to uh, maybe led, uh, lend some advice to. You know, if mm-hmm, if you sure. have a question, oh, a yeah. concern, mm-hmm. uh, if you want to hear John's impression of me again, you can you can hear all that by calling in four three four three nine four zero nine two four is the number. Okay. Or you can check the podcast later. That's right. <laughs> uh, you can do that, too. All mm-hmm. right. Uh, celebrity birthdays. Jeremy Irons turned mm-hmm. 76 today. And uh, he's a great actor. Mm-hmm. Love him. Um, he has two children, Samuel and Max. Uh, let's see who else is celebrating today. Singer Trisha Yearwood turns 60. She once appeared as a judge on Beat Bobby Flay. Mm. What in the world was that? <laughs> I guess it was a, a cooking television show. show. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Flay? Yeah, yeah. Cook, the, cook show? Oh, I, okay. I think that was like when people compete against Bobby. Right, yeah. right. Okay. I'm, I'm learning some stuff today. News anchor uh, Soledad O'Brien is 58. He has appeared uh, in multiple films, including Zoolander 2 and Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Mm. So he's uh, got a birthday today. Also, celebrity chef Michael Simon turns 55. Uh, he's served as best, or as host, excuse me. Let me pull this up so that I can actually read it. Uh, served as host on multiple food-related shows, such as Dinner Impossible, and Burgers, Brew, and Q. Mm. All right. Let me see. Are you, a, are you a big fan of cooking shows, Chris? I am. I, once I, if, if I get into them, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I, they're not my go-to thing. Okay. No. Okay. Not, not very much. Um, host Jimmy Fallon turns 50 today. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, he one of his early TV show roles was as a photographer in an episode of Spin City. Actress Allison Sweeney turns forty eight today, and uh, she recently reprised her role as Hannah Swenson in the Hallmark movie One Bad Apple, a Hannah Swenson mystery. So those are those Hannah Swenson mysteries movies on. Uh, Hallmark Channel. Actress Danielle Panabaker turns 37. Her younger sister Kay has also worked, uh, she has also worked as an actress. Uh, actress Katrina Bowden turns 36. And the more celebrity birthdays, actor Rosemary Harris is 97. Singer Bill Medley of the Righteous Brothers is 84 today. Singer Sylvia Tyson of Ian and Sylvia is 84. Singer-songwriter Paul Williams is 84. Singer Frida Payne is 82. I know Frida. Well, I know of her. Mm-hmm. Uh, singer David Bromberg is 79. Actor Randolph Mantooth of Emergency, 79. Actor model Twiggy, 75 today. Mm. TV personality Joan London, uh, 74. Actor Scott Columby of Jack Frost and Porky's Films is 72. Uh, guitarist producer Niall Rogers of Chic is 72. Actor singer Rex Smith, 69. Musician Lita Ford is 66. Director Kevin Hooks is 66. Let's see. Actor Carolyn McCormick of Law and Order Special Victims Unit is 65. I know a lot of people who just binge watch that all mm. the time. That show, that particular show. Can't do it. TV chef Mario Batali is 64. Comedian Sherry Oteri of Saturday Night Live is 62. Country singer Jeff Bates turns 61. Uh, actor Victor Williams of The Affair and King of Queens is 54. Hmm. Actor uh, Sine Lathan of The Cleveland Show and The Affair is 53. Singer A.J. Popoff 
of lit is 51. Lots of birthdays today. A home improvement host, Carter Osterhaus. And, uh, uh, red, hot, and green in Trading Spaces is 48 today. Did you watch a show, Trading Spaces? Sometimes. That was a weird... That was a weird show. <laughs> it was funny how, like, it would end up worse, like, most times. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The house. Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, like, they would, like, just wallpaper it, but, like... They, uh, I hated that show because, like, um, the people who would, like, help redecorate the homes, they would be like, so what colors do you not like? And they would be like, I don't know. I don't like yellow. And then they would immediately go out and buy all of the yellow wallpaper and, like, new sofas and yellow, just bright, disgusting colors. And they're like, so we redecorated it yellow. And what do you think? And you could just see the person's face just hates that they like decided, decided to do, to do th- that. Yeah. that oh. That's kind of it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's like a practical joke ugly. of yeah, a show. I think so too. Um, yeah, mm. it's very funny. <laughs> Let's see. Singers Tegan and Sarah Quinn of Tegan and Sarah, mm-hmm. forty four. Columbus Short of Scandal is forty two, and uh, that's a bit. That's about it for our birthdays for today. Wow. Time is. 858. 858. And uh, we're working on this Thursday, September the 19th. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's going to be a great weekend for anything coming up. A lot of stuff yeah. coming up this weekend. So Gardening or like raking mm-hmm. leaves. Mm-hmm. Uh, cleaning up my, my, around my grounds. Yes. I've had a lot of dead limbs fall from this rain and everything. Falling on my deck. Not good. No, there's, it's one large limb. And if, if another piece falls... Then the the remainder of the limb will miss my deck. Mm. So wow. I want one more piece to fall. Yeah. And uh then I won't worry about it anymore. <laughs> so but if it would if it all had fallen at one time it would ruin that would, that would have my, destroyed yeah, yeah. It would my back deck. Brand new deck. Too. No, well, my back deck. Oh your back deck, yeah. sorry. Which is just as pretty as the front mm-hmm. deck. Yeah. But anyway, uh it is um eight fifty nine no, and we're minute. gonna have yeah. to Wind up the show for any any today. closing statements, Chris. Do you have anything that you want to say to uh, Potato Man, the Potato Man, or John, or me? Maybe or... get a new phone. Okay, <laughs> that's, nice. that's nice. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. It, because we want to hear from you. I know that's what I. That's I, that's I the only hear. reason why we ask is yeah. because we we want to hear from you so much that we you know, and with this phone, it's it's kind of hard to do that sometimes. Well, it's a very nice way to close it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Any any last words for John too, um, who's sitting out there listening, no. scratching his forehead. He, John's busy. He's oh, working on. Oh, he is. He's he working. Is busy. On, he's shaking he's his head too. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. All so right. Anyway. So all right. All right. Noah, you have a great day. You too, Chris. It's been fun. Always on is. the Call Flow yeah. Show with you tomorrow. John and I'll that's be right. together. So. I will not be here. So I know. Well, I but, will. I will be here, but I won't be on. Yeah. Well, that's, that's you know okay. what I mean. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. All right, doing a lot of behind the scenes yes, stuff. Yes. Okay. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for your calls. Um, we've got news coming up and uh, the weather forecast and music.